We're here in the Wasatch Mountains of Utah on a beautiful fall day, and I got where I'm standing by an unusual mode of transportation for many of you. We got here by mule. And if you know anything about Montevi, that probably means one thing. I'm here with Royal Black Diamonds, Sue and Scott Olson. And we're gonna cook up here in the mountains. So, with no further ado, let's see what's cooking. All right, Scott and Sue, welcome to your office. I think this is where you spend most of your time anyway, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. But today we're gonna to do something, because we're doing Dutch oven, this is a particular love of mine. I've been a competition Dutch oven chef, in fact. I have, see these ovens over here? I have 14 of those things, or 15 or something. And I've done a lot of work with those. Good. So our main course, we're gonna do a Korean marinated roast that's got pulse in it. So oh. it's a la pulse. And then we have got a dessert that is a raspberry cobbler that has pulse in it as well. Wow. But we're just gonna do potatoes and carrots and all that stuff because you just gotta have that when you're in the mountains, right? Huh? Yeah, yeah. So this is kind of what I call a dump and cook dish because we're in the mountains, we wanna make everything easy to do. You could actually pre-prepare every bit of this wow. before you come and just dump it in the pots, put the coals on it, you're ready to go. But to start off with, we need some of the vegetables that are going to go in the main dish. So I'm going to have you guys do some cutting up here for me. Okay. We have some apples and we have some onions. And we're going to cut the apples first here. Now, can you both cut at the same time without chopping each other's fingers off? I don't know. What do you think, Sue? I trust Sue. Scott, you are a little nervous about it. I'm pretty wicked with enough. All right. So all we want to do is cut this into kind of sliver-sized um, apples. So if you each want to take an apple. Okay. So Just cut some edges off and we'll just get some apples sliced up here. Very good. I'll pass on Not the Okay, so we're looking great there. Now, let's just right. take those and let's scoop them up in this little container here and we'll hold them off to the side for a second. Okay. Sue, okay. I'm going to let you cut this because I trust you again way yeah. more than Scott. Okay. <laughs> just about an inch oh. or so wide. We can have some we can have some fairly good chunks of onions okay. here. That, that'll work out just okay. fine. So go ahead and cut that up. Cut the ends off first. We don't need the very back ends here. Okay, got you. Good. And now we just want to take these in about two inch segments and just go all the way up. There you go. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make the liquid part of this marinade because we're going to let this roast marinate a little bit and then we're going to cook it in its marinade as well. Okay. So we're going to start off with um, this is a cup and a half of soy sauce. If you would just dump that okay. right into this pan. Dumping. Very good. We have two thirds cups of sugar. Sue, if you'll take that one, put that in there. Four tablespoons of chili powder. All right, we're making okay. Scott happy now. Close yeah. to chili. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chili yeah. powder. <laughs> this is four tablespoons of sesame oil. You can't do good Asian cooking without sesame oil. Wow. So there go ahead. Go. And I'll put that one in. All right. All right. We have four to six cloves of minced <coughs> garlic. I cheated. I bought them already minced at the store because I'm lazy. That's okay. That's and how we do it. It's a law here. You're camping here. It doesn't <laughs> want to come out. You use your fingers because you're camping. We're going to pour one pulse. cup of pulse into this thing. And this will really flavor all the vegetables and things that go in it. There we go. So there's one cup. Sue, if you would do the honors. Gotta love a little pulse in here. Mix that up with a whisk a bit if you Good. would. This is about 10 ounces worth of carrots already cut to matchstick size. Again, we're camping, we're lazy. We're yeah. gonna dump that in there. Oh, Stop. That's what, that's what dump you that do one in there. All right. This, eight ounces of white mushrooms. Go ahead and dump those in. Remember those two apples you did? Put yeah. those in. Oh, okay. this is gonna be good, I can tell. And all those onions you cut up, put those in. Okay. I have some fresh spinach that I already boiled a little bit because spinach is really big and it really shrinks down a lot. Oh, yeah. This is one bundle of spinach that you can just buy at the grocery store. So I have boiled it quickly for just a couple of minutes and we'll add the spinach in there as well. Spinach is optional. We can take that with a spoon. Okay, let's mix this up just a little bit. We start to get that marinade all through the vegetable. Mm -hmm. You can smell that garlic mm -hmm. in that. Yeah, mm -hmm. this is one of the more aromatic mm -hmm. dishes you will ever yeah. make. People will know when you're cooking this. And I have them pre-cut up the roast the way I want to serve it, which is about quarter inch slices. And then we just string it back together with this oh. mesh string. And now the marination is going to get through every bit of the roast, not just on the outside edges. So here's the fun part. We put this in here, and this is just using hands. 
Well, it's already cut and ready. To it's already go. cut and ready to go. So in the end, we'll take those strings off, and it'll be ready to serve. You don't, you don't have to cut it at that point. Good idea. Oh, nice. <laughs> All right, we'll put this on. In about 15 minutes, we will have coal. We do not need oh, any lighter I like fluid. That. Nothing. That's a good <laughs> idea. I like that. <clears throat> That's what you call mountain cooking. Yeah. Now we're moving on to the vegetable dish. You know, in the mountains, these are called taters. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> We're cutting up taters. The last awesome. one. Got her. Done. You're not going to sneak one of these rock potatoes, too, are you? He's Thinking about it. it. Done. <laughs> <laughs> if you just open that bag again, this is, this is one of those dump recipes. So just, I like these sharp knives. I can tell that. Yeah, that's good. So we got the potatoes. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is just a bag of pearl onions. I'll put those in. Are you done? Again, from the grocery store, we're making this easy. And these are fresh beans. Mm. We put in a Ziploc wow. bag. Because we'll add three cups of water. And then, once about three fourths of the way through, we'll remove all the water. But we're going to put some cream of mushroom with roasted garlic soup mix in it. Mm. And that's all it will take. This is just simple stuff you can buy from the grocery store. We have pre-made pie filling. Now you can use any type you like. I like to use the raspberry. And that one of the reason is the ingredients that Pulse has in it goes really well with the raspberry yeah. flavoring. Mm. So we'll just take two of these guys, put them together. Sue, so if you would just scoop that into this black bowl right here. Bam. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna put a half a cup of Pulse in this as well. Okay, now, Sue, all we've got to do is mix that filling together with the pulse. Okay, we got one last thing here. We're now done with this bottle of pulse. Scott, do what you do best. Yeah, baby. Hey. We're going to have an up. incredible dessert here in just a sec. Bottom it up. All we're going to do now is put this into this next 12 inch oven. Once it's in there, we're going to put it around the oven evenly. Very and then good. we have. A store button cake mix. This is a white cake mix. You can use any manufacturer you want. It'll work just fine. This is going to give, give the liquid to our cobbler here. So all I'm going to do is take this and put it evenly across the top of the cobbler. And this is why you have a clean can when you do it. Now I use the top of the can and this kind of mix it a little bit. Now. Let me give you a little 101 on cooking with charcoal. Okay. There's a rule with a Dutch oven. If you look at the number in the lid, you see this one has a 12 on it. In fact, they all have 12s on them in this case. Mm -hmm. If you take two less than 12 or 10 and put that underneath, two more than 12 or 14 and put that on top, that is even heat, 325 degrees. This sounds like a math class. Yeah. And there's my 10 there. So we'll go ahead, Scott, if you'll pick up that oven, okay. put it right over top of those. All right, and then we'll put 14 or so on top, and we will just put these all over the lid in this case, again, because it's meat. And the way we're going to keep the even heat is every 10 to 15 minutes, we're going to turn the lid a quarter turn clockwise, and we'll pick up the handle and turn the quarter turn the other way, and so we'll keep moving. We're going to cook this about an hour and a half to two hours to get this perfect, nice and slow heat. So I've got about 350 degrees worth on this thing. 325. <laughs> okay. So this one again is the vegetable, so I can put the coals kind of all over the lid with that. Oh, yeah. But only on the outside edge when you're doing the dessert. So now Very good. we've got all these things on the coals. They're ready to cook. Mm -hmm. And this is the easy part of our job. We get to relax a little bit. So let's go sit over here across the way a little bit and let's see what makes your business cook here, Bob. Okay, very good. So Scott and Sue, obviously this is a family affair for you guys. There's a lot of tasting parties in the evenings, a lot of travel, and you've got quite a few kids. So what do you do to fit this all into your family? Sue, what do you do? Well, Barry, first of all, it takes a lot of energy. So I'm going to pop this energy drink. That helps. <laughs> that's, that's definitely part of it. Seriously, Barry, um, our kids are involved with this, and I think that makes a difference. Um, our daughters participated with us a lot. Um, our son, we try to keep keep it together when we travel as a family. 
Um, there are times when our roles are a little bit different in this business. Um, I have a home and a family to run, and Scott kind of does a lot of the traveling. And when we when we can, as much as we can, we, we do meetings, you know, the travel part together. But as far as sharing Monavi, you know, we all share it. My son takes these to school every day, and you know, the kids at school are drinking, you know, EMV, and and I've always got a case of juice in my car. I mean, I'm always ready to share it. So we, we just kind of make it a family affair all the way around. Great. Now, Scott, I'm assuming that uh, your kids even come to some of the tasting parties and they kind of help out there. Do you actually let them do any <coughs> presenting or anything like that? If they want to, sometimes they do. But uh, mm -hmm. more than anything, they're involved in, in backup support with a lot of us. They've all, they've all actually got their own distributorship. So they all, uh, in a bit of a way, share it in their own way with their friends right. and their associates. And sometimes when Sue and I will travel together, they've been with us uh, to Japan and uh, some of the other foreign countries we've gone to. And so we do try and mix it up, like Sue said, but it's, uh, it's important that we all uh, balance it and stay together as a family. So if you get a lot of kids, you get them all their own distributorship, you can become Black Diamond off your own immediate family. Now that's, that's <laughs> a way to build a network. That's possible, you know. But they have to work the yeah, business. that's true. They do have we to We don't work. do it for them. Yeah, they... I have a feeling you teach them how to do that. Yes. Remember, we still have some stuff cooking. We better go see what's going on over there. I can smell it from here. It smells good, Barry. Yeah, it's going to be great. Isn't it good, Sue? <laughs> smells good. I'm ready. All right, now we're about 45 minutes in. We've rotated these lids a few times to keep the heat even. But on a dessert like this, you only want top heat for the last 15 minutes or so. Right. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to lift this up. And Scott, if you'll use my trusty shovel here, <clears throat> just take those coals out from underneath it. There's a coal bucket right at your feet. You go, Scott. All right. Now we have one more thing we have to do as well. And that is this concoction here of vegetables. Yeah. And by the way, did you notice no butter in any of these three dishes? That's never been oh, heard yeah. of in Dutch oven before. Wow. We're not actually using any butter in this. <clears throat> that means they're healthy. Look in here. We've got these things most of the way there cooked. There you go again. There he goes again. All right. But remember we mm. used water in this. Now we want to remove that water. So Scott, if you'll help me, and we're going to take it over here. And if you will put this across the bottom edge, as I tip it, we're going to get that water out of there. Just like that. Let's get the water out of that. Check it out, guys. All right. <laughs> now. You were in perfect position. One more thing we need to do, and that is, Sue, if you would grab those two cans of soup over there. This is just cream of mushroom with roasted garlic soup. Let's scoop that right in there. Let's mix that Stir in. Stir baby up. Stir that up. Right, now we'll put the lid back on that in another 10 to 15 minutes, and that's ready to go. All right. All right, guess what time it is? Time to eat. It yeah. is time to eat. This stuff is done. And for any <laughs> anybody who likes to cook, one of the best things is to unveil the food. And in yeah. Dutch ovens, you really got to take a look at this stuff. So let's go ahead and take the lids off. We'll start with the main course. This is our marinated roast. Look whoa, at that. Whoa, whoa, baby. Anybody hungry? And you see, we have a perfect about medium roast right there. Yeah. And it's already in pre-cut <clears throat> pieces. It's easy to serve. Add it's, it again. It's a vegetable dish right there. Wow, that's beautiful. Okay, and that's all ready to go. Our dessert is perfect. Woo! This is living. Oh, yeah. This is living. We <clears throat> definitely need smell o vision right now, don't we? <clears throat> like that. What are we going to tell us to? To Monavi. To Monavi and cooking in the mountains. Yeah. Woo! Great stuff. Mm. So now we've seen it, now we eat it. This might be living in the mountains, but this is not like eating in the mountains when it mm. comes to this. Well, thanks for being with me, Scott and Sue. I hope you've had a good time today. I know I have. It's been wonderful. Anytime you need another hand on the trail, happy to come along. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what's cooking at Monavie. Thanks, Barry. Thanks, Barry. You're a good hand. Anytime. Good hand.